syringe and needle, it is important to note that their ends are not capped. In order to maintain the sterility of the collection, it is imperative that you do not touch these exposed ends with anything. To open the syringe, twist the top of the plastic container to snap the closure. Remove the top and pour the syringe into your hand, taking care not to touch the exposed end. To open the needle, separate the plastic and paper ends of the packaging and peel the ends apart to expose the end of the needle. Again, be careful not to touch the exposed end. With the paper pulled down, screw the lure lock from the syringe onto the needle. Once the needle is assembled, pull back on the plunger to break the seal between the plunger and the barrel, and then press the plunger back to its starting position. Depending on the needle chosen, it can have either a lure slip or a lure lock. If your needle has a lure slip, simply spin the needle on the hub until the safety device will be out of the way with the bevel facing up. If your needle has a lure lock, you can only change the position of the bevel relative to the safety device by twisting it clockwise. It may be necessary to rotate the needle counterclockwise until it slips free of the threads and reseats itself before tightening it again to ensure the safety device is out of the way with the bevel up. Once the syringe is fully assembled, it can be placed to the side until ready for use. Do not remove the cap from the needle until it is ready for use. Here is the entire process performed again. Thank you for watching the LTE video on Syringe Assembly.